Welcome back guys to an ethical new video in a new series, which is a complete multi-purpose Discord bot. I am super excited about this series because we'll be creating lots of commands and complete systems using modals, um, select menus, and much more. This is the first video of the series, and in this video, we'll set things up using the latest tools. Before we start, I'd like to suggest a few things. First, make sure to join my Discord server the link is in the description. Joining it will allow you to ask questions if you face any issues. There are other coders there too, so you can share your work and get suggestions. Second, you can join my Patreon, which starts at just $5 per month. By doing this, you can support me and you'll also get access to the complete source code for all my videos. I will start uploading the code for the multi-purpose bot on Patreon from tomorrow. If you are watching this video after the series is complete, you will also find the bot's complete code in the shop tab on my Patreon. To host the bot, we will use Lizardhost, a premium hosting service. I've provided the link in the description. They offer great plans that are very affordable, starting at just $1 per month. So you should definitely check them out. All right, so now we will start by creating a new folder I'm on my desktop right now, so I'll quickly create a new folder and name it Multipurpose Bot. You can name it whatever you like. After that, I'll right click on the folder and open it in Visual Studio Code. Now, as you can see, this folder is completely empty, so let's open the terminal and we're going to use Create Disco Base, which is an advanced and lightweight Discord bot command, event, and function handler with lots of features. If you want to learn more about it, you can watch my video on it and you can also check out its NPM page, link in the description for more details. But in this series, we'll be learning everything. To create a new disco base project, in the terminal, type npx create disco base at latest. After this, it will ask you a few questions. Since we've already created the folder, we'll leave it blank and then select yes for everything. Since we're going to use MongoDB, choose yes for that as well. If you're not familiar with MongoDB, it's a database. After that, it will ask if you want the DiscoBase dashboard. I'll select yes just to show you what it is and how helpful it can be. But if you don't need it, you can just choose no. That's it. It will take a little time to set up everything for you. Once that's done, go to the config.json file. And here you can see it provides many inbuilt features. For now, I'll just provide my bot's token and bot ID. If you have no idea how to create a bot and get the token and ID, I suggest you watch my video on that. Once you've provided those, open the terminal again and you can run the bot in two ways. One is node and the second is npm run start. As you can see, our bot has successfully started. Disco base gives you a ping command by default, so I'll quickly go to my Discord and check. The bot is already there. And when I run the ping command, it works fine. So that's it, the setup is complete. We haven't used MongoDB yet, but we will be using it a lot in the future. So tomorrow I'll add the link for MongoDB as well. Uh, DiscoBase will handle everything else. Uh, if you need help connecting MongoDB, you can check out my video on that and you'll understand it. Otherwise you can join my Discord server and we will help you with everything and all the links will be in the description. Now let me show you the disco base dashboard. As you can see, it is running on localhost. When I click here, the dashboard will open. You can see here that it shows the total number of servers, uh, total users, uh, and total commands that are in your bot. It also shows uh, recent activity. For example, if you make any changes in the files, it will display that. Let me show you. If I go to the ping command, make some changes and save it, you will see it reflected here. Also here, the bot's name and logo should show, but since I haven't set a logo for my bot, it's not visible. If you click here, it will show the bot's banner if it's set. Um, you will also see additional information here. You can directly upload or update the bot's name, avatar, and banner from here. If you go to the configuration, you can easily update the IDs from here, which will automatically update the config.json file. Then in the command section, you will see information about your commands. In the errors section, any errors that occur with your bot will be displayed, which you will encounter during development. In the guild section, it will show all the guilds where your bot is present. Uh, as you can see, the logo is not showing here because our bot is only in one server. 
and it doesn't have a logo. So yes, that was our video for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a nice comment so I know if you want to see more videos.